Hello and welcome back to downloadable content. It must be Tuesday because it's Mod Showcase Tuesday. Tuesday. This week we are actually taking a look at a game called Hell Split Arena because this game has such fantastic mods and no one ever talks about them for some reason. So I'm going to show you some fantastic mods today with unbreakable glass apparently, but still. I'll break this glass and then I'll show you everything. This is how our forefathers ate their bananas. They cooked them up like this. And then when they were done, they were like, oh, I threw it too far. The first couple of mods we're gonna be taking a look at will actually be some maps. So to kick things off, here is 67th way by left for pills. There's definitely gonna be a lot of exploring today, which is going to be lots of fun. We have some graffiti in this map. We have a bunch of squidwards in this pool of water, which probably isn't water for me, but let's go in just to check it out. <laughs> hey, squidwards. What the hell was that? There's like random like music and stuff playing. At least squidward is like solid. Let's get out of here and take a look at the street. So this is the street crossing and yes, those cars can be devastating, especially Squidward driving while asleep. And look, watch out for vehicles, they can kill you. Was that a watermelon? I'm gonna spawn this guy like right here. It's a World War II zombie. And um, he should get hit by the next car that comes. Here we go. And how could you miss? All right, well, we have to put him here now too. Now there's two, two, two of them. So we can't miss this time. Come on, red car, send someone else. Send like Squidward, there we go. Oh, it hit him, but it didn't really do anything. There's a watermelon, no! Oh my God. So they get hit, but it just pushes them. I was expecting like a gooey mass. But let's go ahead and explore now. We just gotta carefully cross the street so I don't get obliterated. Oh no, oh no, it's a deja vu guy. <laughs> So I'm bringing the super shotgun with me from the doom pack. We're not showing it off today But I just wanted to bring it with me because it has a grappling hook, but let's check inside here There's a watermelon that's about to get completely blasted That is upsetting that this watermelon is made out of like adamantium. Can I get in there somehow? I think I have to go around. We're going around. So is this just like oh, this is like the jail room. Oh, okay So this is where like a jailer guy would be using the worst <laughs> laptop setup in the planet, what were they doing? Documents, settings. What what were they actually doing? Someone tell me what they were doing. Oh, there's a back place they also. But we have to go all the way around here. They have a uh, books on Java, that's excellent. Look at all these books. The TPS reports, oh no. And this is their terrible like lunchroom. This is sad, this is a sad lunchroom. All right, this place is making me sad, so let's get out of here. So let's walk in here. This place also is probably going to make me sad. They got the same books over here. This is the worst, worst bathroom in the planet. That's disgusting. There's not even a mirror here. Gross. Let's see, is it the same program that the other security guard was running? Yeah, same thing here. The worst mattress setup ever. Oh, there's a basement? We're gonna go into the basement. I have a super shotgun, so I'm afraid of absolutely nothing right now. Come on out. If you're a demon, you have to come on out. That's part of the rule. Is there something behind this thing? That's part of the rule, man. Don't be a demon. Well, I think there's a demon there, so we're just gonna super shotgun that and leave. And then there's the upstairs, so let's see what's up here. Anything cool? No? So far, this is not cool. This is just a bunch of creepy, unsettling spots. Is this unsettling? Stock room, there's a roof access. What's over here? Balcony access? Let's try to climb here. Oh my god, the handles are upside down for climbing. <laughs> no! Damn it, fix the handles. Ugh. Toss myself up. Oh, hey. I'm gonna stop this watermelon. Oh, no. Here we go. This thing is always so beautiful to drive. We're gonna get in. This is like the DuPont Phoenix. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I said this is going to be fun, not not fly away. Let me in. I just wanna, I just wanna drive this car. Is it so much to ask that I, I drive this car? This is a terrible grocery store. Chill. Okay, thank you. Can we go into this door? It's all I needed to know. And you can, great, absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look at the next map. Up next, we have Dunder Mifflin, also by Left for Pills. So right now we spawn in uh, the warehouse and um, I hate this. I'm just gonna put this right out there. Don't, this thing, why is this desk so big though? So this is uh, the Dunder Mifflin warehouse right here. You gotta, uh, I'm loving it, giant phone. Another one of these creepy computers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have to put, put, you have to put this D in your, your computer. I don't, 
We're gonna you walk away to from that. So this is the oversized warehouse, which is, it's weird right now. <laughs> this is weird. Why are there, why is Squidward in everything? Is this a phone number we can call? Someone call this phone number. Let me know what happens. I can't read this in VR, it's too blurry. Dear Mr. Landlord Pellor, I, I can't see. <laughs> oh look, there's more phone numbers to call. Hey, who wants to try calling these phone numbers? <laughs> Do it. Selling a Mag 7. Come on, mint condition. All right, this is a weird bulletin board, so let's keep things rolling. Oh, uh, it's the whole cat. Oh, what the hell is this thing? Um, 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 um. Hello? 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 Oh my god. I hate this thing. We should probably not be down here any longer. <laughs> this is horrifying. So this is where they come down from. Let's just, let's just leave. Dude, this is the weirdest Dunder Mifflin right now. Everything is like so cursed. Can I get in this? No. There's an Among Us guy in, in here. Okay, let's just go in, down the zone. Hey, don't jump scare me, okay? I know, I don't want to be jump scared right now. Not in the mood for it. Okay, this just leads around, so we're good. Now this is the back. Are we in the annex right now? Toby? So these are all the different, this is probably all the different maps from the mod author. That's a cool plug. See, I was thinking that this was just gonna be like an actual recreation, but this seems like Dunder Mifflin Apocalypse. Who's playing the Squidward music? Okay, what what is this? What have you made here? <laughs> I'm unsettled. Was this supposed to be unsettling? Cause you did, this is the conference room. And there's another Squidward. Look, it's Jonathan. Hey Jonathan, what are you doing behind here, man? Just chilling? This is like Jim slash Daryl's office. Still has the same thing on all the computers. There's no couch here though, unplayable. And then we have Michael's office with a creepy mask. Excellent. Well, I, I am, I'm unsettled right now. I feel like I'm just like an explorer in an abandoned place that I used to love. <laughs> it feels super creepy right now. Why is SpongeBob in a cup? Let's just find out where the rest of this leaves. This is the Dunder Mifflin prop company now. So that's interesting. Now over here is a waiting room. That's an elevator with more Squidward textures. Vance, we have Bob Vance zone. This is, can we get into Bob Vance zone? There's another Squidward right here. Okay, I, this is creepy. <laughs> this is so creepy. It's cool. It's just creepy. Like if you're looking to explore things and, and you like that unsettling vibe, these are the maps for you, but let's focus on the third map. Here we have Burger King, also by Laugh for Pills. And we're gonna be exploring this, and I need to know why Squidward is in every single map. So let's walk around, this is a bit unsettling already. You know, you feel like you're in, you ever go on one of those really long road trips in the US, and they have those like awful, like rest stops that have like a place like this? That's where I feel like I am right now, and that, that right there it does not help. <laughs> like, why is there another Squidward outside? But that's exactly where I feel like I am. I feel like I'm not in a real Burger King. It just feels like one of those rest stop Burger Kings. Why is Sean Connery here? Can we go in here? No, oh my God. What is in this room? Does it open? It doesn't open? What is going on in there? That's not even, that's Reynold McDonald. <laughs> Authorized personnel only. Okay, so if this is gonna get creepy, I brought a sword. Home of the, the who? <laughs> so we can go this way. Another unsettling map. Squidward, I, I can't put my finger on it, but all three of these maps so far have been so unsettling. It's just the vibe of, I don't know. Is this liminal? It just feels so weird. Like that's not even, that's not even a good time to do anything. What is that? Like 829, 825? <laughs> So this is where like their Burger King truck shows up and they get the, the, the who whoppers out there. Go around here, that's an eyewash station. This is the, the freezer where uh, Squidward is probably trapped in. That's where the real Squidward is. Oh my God, why is there eggplants and tomatoes? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is such a weird Burger King. Hey Squidward. Hey, but they have the plant-based whopper and plant-based nuggets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna get plant-based powered by the vegetarian butcher. Interesting. I feel like I'm just trapped in the worst rest stop ever. Let me outside. I wanna, I wanna go outside. And you have like small tables floating here and another. <laughs> what is this map? This map is insanely creepy. Like in a, in a, the weirdest way 
this has you have thoroughly creeped me out so good job let's let's move on to the other mods moving on we have god mode fruit by silver cube so you'll actually find this in the potions category you're gonna go to weapon boosting i have a bunch of other stuff but what we're gonna do is find the god mode fruit and we're gonna take it and it looks like a hard i'm holding it really weird but um we're just gonna have a nice little bite of this one so now we have been immortalified. Let's bring some of these guys to fight so we can really appreciate how immortal we I am. Do it! Hit me! That did nothing. Doesn't even make me flinch any longer. I suppose you zombies, um... Well, I'm gonna probably punch your heads off and do a bunch of stuff, but look! It works! This is fantastic! Now when I'm showcasing things, I don't even have to worry at all! If I wanna just practice and get in there and just do some punches, I can do punches. Right, little buddy? We can just go, oh, yes! Oh, and this won't even hurt me. I'm immortal, I can just eat hearts now. So this does exactly what you want it to, which is absolutely fantastic. You take damage, but not really. It doesn't even make you flinch which is fantastic. So if you're looking for those long play sessions where you just want to get in there and have some fun, look no further than the God Mode Fruit. Up next, we have Time Manipulation by Somewhat Toasty Toast. You'll find this in the potion category as well, under healing and the apple of slow time. Grab it once and all you do is eat it. Time Manipulation is bound to my right stick. So if I click it once, it's gonna start the slow motion. This is about 50% and then I could do it one more time to go to 25% and then once more for 10% now Theoretically, it's not supposed to affect the player But you can definitely see and feel the physics actually going against you so it will um, Actually affect the player though. It's not supposed to but I've been waiting for slow motion this game I know a lot of people have so it's great to finally have it um, It's just that if you're doing it in I think anything more than uh, 50% you can get some weird physics, but you can make it look really cool, though. Like, things can float around like this guy and then punch his head away. Quickly go to my bow. Quickly grab an arrow. And this is going to be such weird physics, but we need to see it. <laughs> and, of course, click it again to stop slow motion entirely. So, one more time. Let's go into 50%. 50% is kind of where it's at. That's a really fun one. <laughs> You can do some crazy cool things. Medieval John Wick, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's really cool to have slow motion bound to a button finally for Hell Split Arena. Make sure you download this mod. It's a must have. Moving on, we have the Star Wars Universe by somewhat Toasty Toast. Now you'll notice I'm dressed as Darth Vader. It's just one of the many different armors that you get. But let's see what else we have. Just normal Anakin. So if I didn't want to be all Darth Vader, I could be weird. Plato hands Anakin. I mean, they're not the best models, but they, they still look okay. They're, they're passable. Ooh, I'm a phase two clone right now. Let's do that. You'll also get access to plenty of weapons like this guy right here. So we can just pew, pew, pew. That's fun to have. We got the big boy, the rotary. We can just shoot this one into space here. That's really awesome. But I don't need it right now. Not what we're doing. See, there's tons of new lightsabers in here. There's even the dark saber, a royal saber. So take your pick. Let's grab a sentinel saber and we'll just turn that on. Yeah. You could even put in different kyber crystals. So if I wanted this green one, I should be able to take this and put it in this guy somewhere. I don't remember where you put it in, but I, I just know that you can do it. Now let's focus on the enemies. So let's go set up enemy. Look at this. There's Sith, zombies, Jedi, Empire, stormtroopers, and rebels. And then Star Wars enemies. That's a mix. Let's do um some rebels. They spawn all the way down there. So let's just put this down. I'll take out my nice little blaster, and they should have Star Wars weapons as well, which is cool. That guy already got shot and bought it. Just what he gets. Oh, yeah, look at that. Having custom NPCs is really awesome. Oh, and the lightsabers are completely brutal. I forgot about that. Come on, Rebel, bring it on. I'm going to use two-hand mode and then do this. Oh, my goodness, context. Let's grab a double-bladed lightsaber now. And then why not go after some Empire Stormtroopers? The maps are cool too. You have this one and then you have like the barracks. I'm not going to show you the barracks. You know, you can explore that one on your own right now. But look at all this. We have double blades. Don't think so, chump. Wait a minute. This is a vehicle spawn. That means we can spawn vehicles. Yes, let's see if I'm good enough to ride in that DuPont. Oh, here we go. This is going to be fun. Drive around, look for other evil stormtroopers. 
there, there's some right now. Let's just run them over. Take that, Stormtrooper! And then I'm gonna probably drive off. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. Anyway, yeah, so it's just Star Wars stuff. Have fun with it in Hellsplit. Up next, we have the Uchi Katana by Silvercube. So we could find this by going to the swords category and scrolling all the way down and find it right there. Now this thing actually has, um, you can unsheath it. You could pull it out, but we could put the sheath in there and then I think we could just slowly put it in there if we had to. What I like is you could do a quick pull out like that and obliterate things. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Once again, we're gonna need a few zombies for this one, but let's start with just this basic guy right there. Okay, my friend, and now, Oh, I forgot to press the trigger at the same time. Well, at least you got knocked unconscious. So let's hear it for this guy. Put another one right there. Okay, now we need to act quickly. You need to be holding this. And then, anime cut! You see that? You see that anime cut? Oh my goodness. And if I had the slow-mo apple, it would be even cooler. He already cut off his arm. Okay, prepare yourself. No! <laughs> oh goodness, sucks to be him. Block. Ow! Oh, you hit me. We can resheath it also. Oh, you're still alive? Anime death. Yeah, so if you're looking for have a nice anime sword, then oh yeah, look no further than this. Well, we know this is fantastic, but let's move on to the next one. Up next, we have the Laze Gun by a name I'm gonna be butchering. It's Ingvar Sergson. And if I mispronounce that, I'm sorry. So we're gonna find this in the range category, and this is it right here. It looks so glorious, so let's take it. Wait, does this thing not, not fire? I loaded the magazine in. Come on, fire. No, this looks so good, please. Oh no! So I I have the, the magazine for it, and then I put it in here. I missed. <laughs> Come here, magazine. We have the magazine. Look at that. Is that we put it right in there, and then we press the trigger. Nothing. No. This is devastating to me. I need to check something though. I wonder if it has like no ammo. Like what happens if I take like a 12 gauge shotgun pack? Do you think it's gonna like fake load it? Put the shotgun right there. No, it didn't work. Damn it, I really wanted to show you guys this one. Mod author, if you're here, bud, you gotta fix this because I need to use this one and you have made me, you have made me sad today. The final mod we're gonna take a look at today is actually by the same person. So um, I don't necessarily have my hopes up, but it is a double barrel shotgun by Ingvar Sirksen. See, I'm making sure to take shotgun shells with me. That's important. Now I'm gonna give them a chance and give them some SWAT NPCs. So that's gonna be fun. Let's get on my horse for this. This should be good. We can live out our Farmer John fantasies. Let's put some SWAT there. A couple of these goobers. All right, now we should be able to fight them. So this is like break action. You're supposed to have a handle here, but sometimes that doesn't work. But let's take out some shells. One, two. Okay, here we go. Prepare yourself, SWAT. Oh, I forgot to, to load around. Boom! At least it fires. It needs some work though, but it fires. See, you can grab it. Why? Sometimes you can't grab it. Then I don't understand. You see, you have guns, but you're not shooting it. So that's kind of like your own fault for not doing it. So what we're going to do is shoot you in the knee and miss and then shoot you in the face. There we go. See, this game was built for a double barrel shotgun. Zombies having shotguns get off my lawn, you know, boom, blammo. And then when you're out of ammo, you just get really close and personal. Ugh! Ugh, stupid, disgusting zombie! So yeah, we have a double barrel shotgun, which makes up for, you know, the Lay's pistol, or Lay's rifle, I should say, not working. I was really hoping that that one would work, but at least this makes up for it. Get off my log! Well, my friends, wasn't that a great time checking out mods in Hellsplit Arena? And if you still did not know that Hellsplit Arena had mods, well, today is your wake-up call. And if you are new to downloadable content, why not consider subscribing? It's literally free. Hit the big subscribe button down below and join up. I will greatly appreciate it. But other than that, thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video. I'm Drifter from Downloadable Content, and I will see you next time.